guys, it's Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog, I'm going to be mainly focusing around how I study in physical therapy school. So today is Wednesday and as some of you guys may or may not know, I don't have classes on Wednesdays, which is so nice because it's a perfect day off in the middle of the week to just kind of catch up on readings and homework and studying. So today I'm going to be right here at my desk working pretty much all day. So I'm going to be showing you guys kind of more in depth my assignments and stuff and showing you how I utilize my iPad versus how I utilize my MacBook because I do get a good amount of questions about that, especially lately people have been DMing me asking me if they think they need an iPad for PT school and you absolutely don't need one. So many people did PT school before iPads even were invented, but I would say probably about half the people in my class have them and Everyone I know that has one absolutely loves it. So I'm just gonna kind of be showing you guys how I use that today. Oh my gosh, this coffee is so good. My Nespresso finally came in. If you watched my last vlog, you would know that it has been lost in the mail for quite some time. It was one of my Christmas gifts from my boyfriend. So Austin, if you're watching this, thank you. Absolutely loving my Nespresso so far. But before I get started doing work at my desk, I wanted to update you guys on how second semester is going thus far because I'm about a week in. So if you want to see what classes I'm taking, you can watch this video. I'll put a little card here. But I am in seven classes this semester, which is typical for my program. We usually are in 20 to 21 credit hours. And one of those classes is clinical, which is on Wednesdays, which is why you don't have class, but it's only every three Wednesdays. So don't have it today, obviously. But so far, our classes are in person, which if you know the COVID cases that are prevalent in Georgia right now, you would know why that is quite terrifying. I think there were almost 11,000 new cases last week. It was a record high, record, record number of deaths. I personally know a lot of people that have tested positive for COVID recently. It just is a scary time and our classes are in person unless you exposed or have COVID obviously they let us zoom in but the first few days of class we were there in full isolation gowns masks goggles face shields hey Ted and we just were in class as normal all geared up and touching each other and doing labs and it just is scary and I just wanted to say if you are in PT school nursing school med school any school that can't just kind of do all their classes online, if you have to be going into classes in person like me, I am so proud of you. I don't think we give ourselves enough credit for doing crazy hard programs like this, given what is happening in the world right now, both COVID-wise and non-COVID-wise. Teddy, stop trying to steal my breakfast. So I just wanted to say that I'm proud of you and just take it one day at a time. All you can do is all you can do, wear your mask, social distance, wash your hands, and if you happen to be exposed, you happen to be exposed because there are 11,000 cases. It's hard to avoid every single person that tests positive. So I'm going to finish my coffee and kind of look at all the assignments that I have for today. I did look a little bit last night, and it seems that this semester is less homework than last semester and more just like read this chapter. So I'll probably be doing a lot of reading and taking notes and a lot of my classes are also more hands-on this semester so again less tests and more like competencies and skill checkoffs which I guess is good I don't know finally learning how to be a real physical therapist out here so let's get working all right so I'm at my desk I have my MacBook Pro here it's really old. I got it in 2016 when I graduated high school, so not a new fancy MacBook by any means, but it gets the job done. If you're wondering where the sticker is from, it's from Redbubble. My best friend Maddie from high school got it for me, so if you're watching this, love you, girl. Next, I have my iPad here. This is the iPad 7th generation. I got it as a college graduation gift, and then I have the Apple first generation pencil and I just got this little sleeve for it from Amazon and I think it's so cute because it looks like a real pencil and also very functional because it has a little grippy for you. 
Then I have my planner here, which has all the assignments I have to do today. And of course, I have my coffee here and this little electric cup warmer that I got for Christmas that has been honestly amazing because it takes me forever to drink hot coffee, so it keeps it nice and warm while I'm waiting. The assignment I have to do is read an article for my musculoskeletal class, so I always do readings and stuff like that on my laptop because I usually then take notes on my iPad, so I'm going to show you guys how I do that, and we also have to do a synthesis assignment, so we have a bunch of options, but I usually do the one that is, please draw a picture or timeline that helps you understand. And then it's different every time, but this one is describe the function of the cells and cellular components of collagen and connective tissue. So while I'm reading the article, I'm going to keep that question in mind and take down any notes on my iPad that relate to that question and then put it in a cute little diagram and upload it. I use the app Notability and as you can see, I have a semester one folder with all my classes from semester one. Now we're in semester two, so under musculoskeletal, I'm just going to go and create a new note and title it Synthesis 2. So I just finished my reading and basically I scribbled down everything relevant to the question we're supposed to answer for the synthesis assignment. And now on the second page, I'm going to just make a nice little diagram to kind of remember all of it. So I'm going to show you guys when I'm done. All right, so I'm finally done my synthesis. Here's what it looks like. We have to do these about once or twice a week, which takes a long time. But honestly, it's so nice when tests come around because then we just have all these little diagrams and stuff instead of just pages and pages of notes. So I'm going to airdrop this to my... MacBook and submit it and move on to my next assignment. And once I airdrop it to my computer, this is what it looks like. And you also could print this out too, which is another great little study tool. So iPad's definitely good to make cute little study guides. Next, I have to listen to this six minute podcast on college information. So you're going to do that. And again, take notes written on my iPad. Alright, so now I'm done all my musculoskeletal work. It's about an hour and a half later, so as you can see, there's quite a lot of pre-work to do every single day for to prepare for class the next day because all that work that I did on collagen, we haven't even learned about collagen yet. I'm assuming that will be the lecture tomorrow, but they like us to kind of like read about it first and then they just go into more detail in class. So now it is about 11 o'clock. I'm going to walk my dog because... He's just been sleeping all morning and I feel bad and it's pretty nice out today. So I'm going to take him for a walk and then I have to read like four chapters in my cardiopulmonary textbook and I think this is going to be my hardest class this semester. This is the only class that I didn't have this professor last semester. All my other classes, it's like I've had them before. So she's a new professor and she wrote the textbook. So everyone says this class is super hard, but... I'm going to read this after my walk, and then she posts, like, learning issues, which you don't turn in, but it's just to kind of guide your reading. So as I read, I can fill out the answer to those questions and be prepared to discuss them in class tomorrow. So I'm going to go for a walk and then do that. So won't be using my iPad for a little bit. Basically, if a teacher, like, posts a worksheet or something that we're supposed to just, like, type on and upload and submit, I usually just do it on my laptop, but if it's something that I'm just taking notes on my own or like have to draw up something to turn in or I'm creating a study guide or something like that, that's when I use my iPad. And I also use my iPad to take notes on PowerPoint slides in class like I've talked about so many times in past videos. done my learning issues so I just typed all of those up and now I'm going to start studying for my anatomy quiz which is this Friday. I have my iPad here with the app Visible Body. I believe it's $25 but our school gets it for us for free which is really nice and basically has all the muscles here and you just click on it 
and it'll tell you what it is. Then on my laptop, I have my list of muscles up here. The yellow ones are the ones I already memorized. The other ones I have not. And this quiz is Friday, so I need to learn all of these muscles, function, nerve, origin, insertion by then. I do make flashcards, but that doesn't help me unless I already know the muscle. It doesn't help me learn it, if that makes sense. So I just kind of look at the sheet while looking at the actual muscle. And then once I know it, I quiz myself using flashcards. So I'm going to go ahead and study for my anatomy quiz now. And then after that, I just have to read a chapter for neuroscience, which shouldn't take very long at all. And then I'll be done all of my schoolwork for today. This is a pretty typical Wednesday for me, doing about probably like five or six hours of schoolwork. And I don't have an exam for a few weeks because school just started, but had it been like mid-semester or nearing exam time, I would have to study after I finish all of this work. So as you can see, there's a lot of work that is involved in physical therapy school. So I think I'm going to end this video here, but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful in any way at all. If you have any video requests, please be sure to leave them down below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye friends!